Hi, my name is Bob Greenier, and I'm a volunteer with the Martin Fleischmann Memorial Project. So I'm here at the Brno Planetarium, and here we have a whole series of images of the sun taking at different frequencies, representing different uh, actions on the sun itself. And <clears throat> the points that I want to draw attention to are this one here. And uh, I've talked about this before, this structure here is a magnetic structure and it is essentially all bar the dynamics involved an identical uh, structure to that observed on the ball blind sample of John Hutchison from 1986 that I gave in my Sun Doesn't Lie uh, presentation some time ago and that is a magnetic structure and you can see the magnetic structures here on this uh, Sun magnetograph and what you see is for instance here uh, one is a north and one is a south pole, uh, one or the other way round. There's some regions here with north and south areas. And over here, there's this main structure, which we ju just looked at on the other image. And you can see that it has these uh, kind of main regions, but around in the center, you've got other uh, magnetic kind of uh, field areas. And there's a tight structure over here on the side. And we'll come to that. If you go back to the color image, you can see this tight structure here, okay? And if you again go down <coughs> uh, past uh, this one, which is the ultraviolet, and we come down here to the iron 15 line, this is the iron 15 line. So this is the spectrum supposedly that comes from 15 uh, electrons ionized off iron. You can see these uh, uh, structures with their magnetic influence and uh, flux lines and the one over here on the side. It's actually easier to see not on the helium lines but on the iron 8 ionization lines. You can see very clearly the magnetic flux lines here, some over on the side here. And up here you've got these uh, tight ones in the center, this kind of mishmash group of that kind of fuzzy area. But here's that close grouping which is similar to the structure on the Hutchison sample, ball burn. And you can imagine that on the ball burn, the similar type of flux lines were occurring in this obviously a common fractal self-organized structure that occurred on that 1986 sample. And over here on the side, you can see uh, the tight one that we referred to earlier. Now, uh, at this uh, uh, ionization level of iron, we're talking at about 600,000 degrees centigrade. But on the iron uh, 15 line, this represents two and a half million degrees centigrade. And I have argued that is what, what is going on is that exotic vacuum objects are forming. They are forming magnetic structures, as you see over there. And uh, these form clusters and they are transported along the magnetic flux lines and they come up into the atmosphere of the sun and they some of them fail and when they fail the electrons that have been stripped from them because that's what these uh, self-organized fractal tor torus structures do the electrons that have been stripped from them uh, are regained and it gives the impression of two and a half million degrees centigrade heating, but it isn't that. It's this electromagnetic phenomenon that is stripping the electrons from the iron atoms. And so, in my view, that is the solution, in my view, to the fact that the surface of the sun is at uh, six and a bit thousand degrees uh, centigrade or whatever it is, and that the coronal Corona is supposedly at millions of degrees centigrade. So thank you very much for your time and I'll see you in the next video.